Hey guys, it's Nick and welcome back to the channel. Something that we crave a lot is Indonesian street food. But in Western countries, sometimes they don't have this option or it's very expensive. Back home in Indonesia, it can cost about a dollar or even less. It's incredible. So in today's episode, I want to show you five iconic street food dishes that you can find in Warung in Indonesia. All right, to start things off, we need about 13 ingredients. Some of these ingredients, you're gonna be reusing it again to create different types of Indonesian street food dishes. Now, while we are using some Indonesian brand, you can always find alternative in your local supermarket. One of the most classic things, of course, is Indomie. There's so many different type of version of Indomie. You can get the dry ones and also you can get the soup-based one. Then you have Sarah's Classic, which is your chocolate sprinkle, peanut butter, white bread, eggs, sweet condensed milk, some margarine, corned beef, red Fanta, bananas, and a block of cheese, and of course, some vegetable and meatballs. First up is the internet. Flashy name, I know. You'll need three ingredients here. Indomie, corned beef, and egg. Okay, so take the corned beef out and cut a slice. You can add more in if you're that hungry, but this is a serving for one. Next, preheat the pan with some oil and add in the corned beef. You'll want to stir until it starts to harden up for some of those lovely crispy texture. Then it's the sunny side egg. Turn up the heat and add in the egg. Once the white starts to cook, turn off the gas. This will allow the egg yolk in the middle to remain runny and yummy. You'll need no introduction on how to cook the famous Indomie. But just to refresh your memory, start by boiling some water. How long will depend on how firm or soft the noodle you want to be. We like firm. When you're done, take out the noodle and mix in the sauce. And finally, the corned beef and the egg. All right, so I might be biased by saying that Indomie is probably one of the best instant noodle out there in the world, but for us, it definitely is. So we get the internet here, which is Indomie, Talor, and Cornet, which is Indomie noodle, corned beef, and egg. There we go, very simple way of cooking it. And now we're gonna mix them all together. So if you guys have eaten UK before, this is kind of like UK, but I guess the cooked version of UK. So as always, Helmi likes to put a lot of chili in the noodle. I'm not a fan of too much chili on my Indomie because I really like that sweet soy sauce flavor, the ketchup bunnies. So, let's try this. Mm. It really brings back a lot of my childhood memories right there. Love that corned beef, really crispy. When we we're frying it, you can just smell how beautiful and aromatic it is. And then the noodle is firm. Love that. Just a really good combination, really. Indomie is one of the best thing ever. You really can't beat it. And this is like a really good afternoon snack. Really, really great. All right, so the next drink, you can find it anywhere in Indonesia, especially in the street food vendor or warung. It's called Soda Susu Gembira, which is like happy soda. And ingredient is very simple. It's just Fanta, the strawberry flavor, and condensed milk, and some ice. Let's make this. All right, so first pour this condensed milk. So roughly about two tablespoons. Depends how sweet you wanna have to drink. Do you know why it's called happy soda? Because this, here's the sun. Okay, here we go. So you get the soda susu gambira and look at the color. So before it was quite dark red, now it's more like pinkish. It's so refreshing, sweet and milky. But warning, you might get hyper like me because it's sweet like Fanta and then condensed milk. Hmm? It's okay, we need the energy for the next food. Up next is pisang chocolate keju or banana chocolate cheese 
or however you want to call it. Start off by peeling some banana, cutting it in half by the middle. Fire up the pan and put a generous amount of margarine. Generous amount. Add the banana in and flip it a few times until the texture becomes golden brown. Once you're done, it's time to add in some freshly grated cheese. Generous amount. Followed by the chocolate sprinkle. Also, generous amount. For the final touch, it's the condensed milk. Again, generous amount. There's really no easy way to say this other than it is the most unhealthy thing <laughs> we've ever cooked. My gosh, the amount of margarine that we have to put for that. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of margarine, I'll tell you that. And of course, look at that. The amount of chocolate sprinkle, the amount of cheese, and then the amount of condensed sweet milk. <laughs> Oh, it's so soft. That's right. So with the banana, there's different types of banana that you can use. If you look at the skin of the banana, the one that we used, it was slightly brownish in mm. color. So that means it's really good to cook. Mm. Mm. Nick, I'm actually proud of myself. This is really good. Yeah, so helmy has been cooking this whole time. Very good job, Helmy. Mm. This is really good. This is, this is as good as the street vendors out there. Yep. Mm. Made Love by Helmy. Made by Helmy. Maybe a bit more healthier than the street vendor. Why? Well, I don't put so much cheese and condensed milk, mm. I guess. If you get this fried banana on the side of the street in Indonesia, it's way worse than what we're yeah. doing right now. So they literally put, I think, half a block of the cheese on top of this. So yeah. Mine is only a quarter. Probably half a block of the margarine too. Yep. And also like this one, I guess, I don't know. I don't know, quite a lot. Yeah, quite a lot. It's probably double what we're yeah. putting or maybe even more. <laughs> so this is actually a healthier version. Healthier version, but it's still good. Love this. What a blast from the past. And the next dish is ropang, which stands for roti panggang, or fried bread. To make this, you will use the same ingredient as the previous, except you'll be adding peanut butter. And then it was time to put the overly generous amount of ingredients. It's like swimming in a sea of chocolate, cheese, and condensed milk. So this is ropang, which is roti panggang or fried bread. Back in Indonesia, people actually drink milk with condensed milk. So, you know, condensed milk is like everywhere. It's That's used right. everywhere. So a lot of the ingredients that we use today, they really use it for different kind of dishes, mm. including martabak too. Wow. Yeah. put so much cheese <laughs> it's actually really hard to chew <laughs> and the only thing I can really taste is the cheese right now really I yeah. can taste the, like the peanut butter though oh yeah there is a little bit of peanut oh. yeah I can taste it yeah too but really the cheese was very very prominent so with this one you can actually eat for breakfast after lunch afternoon snack supper or early in the morning maybe like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. because a lot of street vendors actually open almost 24 hours. So yeah, staple food. Mm. Next is Indomie Nyamek or a soup-based Indomie. For this, you'll need an Indomie that is made for soup. Now there's a lot of different recipes, but this is Helmi's. First, you prepare the ingredient by cutting them into smaller pieces. Then you're gonna start cooking the garlic and chili oil first on the pan before adding the meatball. Add some water. Once it starts to boil, you add in the noodle and everything else.
Alright, so this dish is called Indomie Yemek. I have no idea how to translate it or we call it Indomie Basa or wet Indomie or soup Indomie. But anyway, this version is kind of healthier because you got the veggie, tomato, and also you can put as much as chili as you want. So let's try this. So I got some egg and also the noodle itself. Mmm. Well, I mean, this is my own cooking, so obviously it tastes delicious, right? So the noodle is perfectly cooked. I like my noodle quite firm, same as Nick. So this one is very good with the soup. Please, please don't use the Indomie goreng as a soup because like Indonesian will like, oh. It's gonna taste weird. Yeah, it tastes weird. So the dish itself is very flavorful because obviously from the MSG inside and also the oil, as you can see, I actually don't put anything else. I just put this oil and also the sauce and it tastes delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy our today's cooking. Nick is already coma down at the back. It's like too much sugar and too much food. Anyway, if you love this episode, don't forget to punch the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell notification. See you next week.